In late 2018, Husqvarna announced that in early 2019, they would have a battery-powered pole saw available in their consumer line. This was great. Everybody was excited because as awesome as the current telescopic battery-powered pole saw was, it was just a bit expensive for most people because you had to buy the pole saw for a couple hundred dollars, then buy the battery, and buy the charger separately. This consumer version of the telescopic pole saw was going to be offered either in a kit or as a bare tool, but it was going to be much more affordable to the average homeowner. So this is a new 115i PT4 telescopic pole saw here in the box. We're going to put this baby together and show you how it works. So here's what all is inside the box. You have the main power unit here where your battery fits and has all your controls. Then you have the cutting head with the bar and chain and the oil tank. There's a cover for the bar and chain, owner's manual, and a shoulder strap. If you buy it in a kit, there would also be a battery and a charger included here. We bought this one as a bare tool because we already have batteries and we already have a charger. Now you're probably looking at this and thinking to yourself, I thought he said this was going to be a telescopic pole saw. Well, it is, but not in a sense like you're probably thinking. Now, when you look at this here, it doesn't look like this would be very long, but when you put the two pieces together, it is about eight feet long from the end where the battery goes in to the tip of the chain on the bar. Then, where the two black plastic pieces are, right here, you loosen those up, and the pole extends out another two feet, giving you about 10 feet overall. So it is technically a telescopic pole saw, but it just doesn't extend as far as the commercial series battery-powered telescopic pole saw does. The two pieces of the pole saw just plug into each other and then are held together by the gray locking threaded collar. Operating the saw is very easy. You have the main power button, your save mode button, which will use a little bit less battery power, and you have the lockout switch on the top here, and then your power switch to actually start the saw up. So all you're gonna do is turn the power on, slide the switch on the top back, and squeeze the trigger, and the saw is up and running. Just as simple as that. Now one other item to note here on the keypad is the red triangle icon that will light up if there is some kind of an issue with the saw, whether the chain is jammed or just a problem with the battery or a problem with the motor, that will light up telling you that there is some kind of error going on. This is where you insert the battery on the 115 IPT4 pole saw. Um, nice thing about this is it's at the back, uh, so it's actually back towards the operator, so it works as a counterbalance, so the other end of the pole saw doesn't feel near as heavy. The 115 IPT4 pole saw has a bit different chain tensioning system than what you're used to seeing on other Husqvarna chainsaws. And the big giveaway here that it's something different is when you take this thing apart and you see this thing here attached to the, to the bar, uh, that actually fastens on over here in one of the holes where you, where you would normally have the um, piece for your adjuster to slide the bar in and out to put the tension on the chain. This one has a screw that holds this eccentric on there. And we get down here close enough and see when this thing spins, this moves in and out, you know, all around there. Um, and that's what moves the bar in and out and puts the tension on the chain. Now this aluminum piece has these notches in here and these pieces right here on the inside of your cover are what fit down in there. So they fit down in there and you turn those by turning the outside here of this chain adjustment mechanism. And when you turn that, you can see the whole thing turns there. But the inside knob, you can see the little padlock icon on there. This is what you use to actually tighten down the chain because once you have this in place and in these notches, you know, your chain tight, then you just tighten down this knob. And that's going to tighten down right on this stud right here in the center of the bar slot. Now here is your sprocket. That's what drives the chain. Um, pretty simple setup there. You know, the electric motor is right here. So it's just a gear driven sprocket. Um, no clutch or anything like that. 
So that's all there is to it in there, but it's a little bit different design than what you're used to seeing, as I was saying. You know, you can see the icons here. Um, you would turn this knob clockwise to tighten up the chain, and then you turn it counterclockwise to loosen it. Once you get it to where you want it, then you just spin this around until it gets tight, and that's what locks it in place and keeps it from moving. So this thing is completely toolless. Um, so it's real handy. Uh, the average homeowner can do this without anything extra or special. Um, real simple to use, real simple to to maintain. Um, there's really not a whole lot of downside to this pole saw. So just real quick here, since I put this back together, just wanted to show you what I was talking about there. Um, as I said, you turn the outside of this knob and your bar is going to move in and out. You can see it moving forward there. Um, you know, you can really notice if you're watching up here. Now, there we go. Our chain is tight. Um, if we turn it backwards, counterclockwise, it's going to loosen it up. You can see it getting real looser at the top. So, we get our chain to where we want it, uh, get the right tension on there, and then all you got to do is just tighten this down by hand. And that will lock into place there. And that's it. Your um, your knob here can't move. Your chain's going to stay tight for you. And you're not going to have to worry about anything. If it does come loose, you know, after you use it for a while, just back this off. Turn that. Adjust it up. Lock this back down. And you're good to go. So here on the opposite side of the bar and the uh, the chain driving mechanism, you have your oil tank where you can actually see how much oil is in there if you flip this up you know, see we got this one pretty full um so that's real convenient there you can tell you got bar oil in there caps right on top it is kind of a small opening in that cap i wish that was a little bit bigger but hey it does the job you know you can get the bar oil in there especially if you're only using the um the quart size bottles which most homeowners that's what they're using um we had the gallon we still had no problems getting it dumped in there but like I say, it is a little bit small compared to what we're used to dealing with on the bigger pro chainsaws and stuff. So here's what the 115 IPT4 telescopic pole saw looks like when you have it all together. So let's run down these little features here again real quick, and we'll show you what's what and where it's at. So out here you have, of course, the bar and chain, and you can see that the cutting head is on an angle. This is pretty convenient, and we'll show you later on why that is convenient compared to traditional pole saws where the cutting head is straight out. Above that, you see the cap right there. That is your bar oil tank. Then you move on down the shaft here and you have these two tapered pieces. This is where you unthread the tapered pieces and you can extend the saw out another about two feet. And one down here, you have your eyelet for your shoulder strap. You have your operator controls right in here. And at the very back, as we told you, that is where the battery goes, which helps to balance this thing out pretty well and offset the weight of the cutting head. So with the cutting head on this telescopic pole saw being at an angle, this allows you to just raise the saw up there and put the cutting bar right over top of the limb and just let the saw do the work and come right down through it on its own. A lot of times with a telescopic pole saw where the bar is straight out, People that aren't professionals and aren't used to using the saw tend to get the, the saw pinched easier because you're cutting into the limb at an angle rather than straight down from the top. So here's our final thoughts on the Husqvarna 115 IPT4 consumer model telescopic pole saw, battery powered. Um, have to add that in there. Um, it's a good deal. You know, you can buy this thing right now with a battery and a charger for around 250 to 260 bucks. Um, you can get it without the battery and charger for under 200. If you go to buy the commercial telescopic pole saw, the battery powered one, you're gonna spend more than that on just the saw and you're gonna have to buy the battery and the charger separate and they're gonna have to be the commercial batteries. So you're looking at least 200 bucks for a battery right there off the bat. You're gonna pay almost as much for a battery as you will for this entire saw with a battery and charger. So this is a no-brainer, you know, yeah, it's not going to be the full, you know, 14 or 15 feet when you extend it out that the commercial one is, 
but you're still going to get a good 10 feet out of this thing. So it's not going to be balky and awkward and hard for you to use if you're not used to using a pole saw. The other thing about it is you can transport this thing no problem. You know, you can just take it back apart like you saw when it came in the box. Just unscrew it, unplug it, and that's it. You can put it in the trunk of your car. You can put it in the back of your truck. Whatever. You can haul this thing around. The commercial battery-powered telescopic pole saws, when you shrink them down as far as they can go, they're still long. You know, to just haul them in a short bed pickup truck, it it's still hanging way out over the tailgate. So that's another big issue there, and that's a big plus for this saw here. So if you're just trimming some limbs here and there and stuff like that, this is definitely, definitely a must-have. You know, this will save you a lot of time and a lot of, you know, climbing up a ladder and things like that. So easy to use, so convenient. You know, why would you not buy this rather than one of the ones with an electric cord you have to run out through your yard? Now, just like with any other piece of power equipment, whether it's battery powered or gas powered, make sure you read your owner's manual when you buy this piece of equipment. This is a chainsaw, so it can be a very, very dangerous tool if not used properly. Your manual is going to give you some great tips on how to trim the limbs on the tree effectively and safely. It's going to give you a list of the safety equipment you should probably be wearing when you're operating this saw and just some good tips on maintenance and stuff like that. So always, always read your manuals with your power equipment, but especially when it comes to a chainsaw where you could have limbs falling down over your head and stuff like that, definitely a good idea to stay as safe as possible. So I think that's going to do it for this video here on the Husqvarna 115 IPT4 battery powered pole saw. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you like what you saw here and to just keep getting the updates on the new stuff we're going to be putting out later on. Um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll be talking to you soon.